basically um, had a telephone call um, from a chap saying, look, I've got the original overalls, the costume part, uh, not the head and not the boots. And said, what's the, I want to sell it. And it would be lovely to put it into a museum. And don't, you know, don't get me wrong, I would love to see these things out there for everyone to see. Um, and there is museums that, that do that. Neil Cole's um, Science Fiction Museum. And then if there's another Doctor Who exhibition. And I had basically said, look, the best way of getting out there is we need to restore it sympathetically. Because there was a few parts missing, like some of the hemispheres on the, on the overalls. There was no boots and, and no head. So the head resides somewhere. There's two of them, a stump one and there's a hero one. They're, they reside in private collections. And of course, they're not for sale. So the second best thing you could do is get a casting of the original head, which um, a friend of ours had got. Uh, we got the, the, the casting of the original head and then we thought, okay, we've got the suit. It needs restoring. Who's going to be the best person for this? And a friend of ours, Rob Allsop, worked on Doctor Who in the 80s and he works in Doctor Who today. And his expertise is costumes and, and things like that. So it went over to Rob and Rob was able to match the head paint exactly because this was a raw casting we had. He sculpted a new rear panel to the back of the head because that was missing. And, and I think it even miss, it's missing on the stunt helmet as well. So wherever that may be. And then he sympathetically restored all of the parts of the suit that needed to be done. Um, um, we had to then contact Michael Kilgariff and say to Mike, but how tall were you back in the 60s when you were, um, were filming Doctor Who? Um, uh, we, could, we haven't got any boots. And he was like, oh, okay, actually, the, the boots were his own. And we was like, okay, what, what do you mean? Did the BBC not supply your own boots? And he said, no, I had such big feet that I had to bring my own in because the BBC um, wardrobe department didn't have anything. So he had to bring in his own um, Wellington boots. And... Um, they sprayed them silver and after filming he said that um he took them back home and was i think in a garden center or gardening i can't remember i'd have to look through the, the, the conversation i had with him and he's wearing silver boots which is amazing um but that's how it was back then um in comparison today where there's bigger budgets bigger allowances and people probably got smaller feet how authentic do you try to be when you're, you're in the process of restoring something of that age? A hundred percent. If there's a fine line of, um, we need to paint match. We need to look at references of uh, photographs. We need to look on screen um, and what's best for the piece, but also not ruin a piece. We don't want to repaint the whole thing. We need to find, if there's a part missing, we need to make it so it's detachable. Um, and it's obvious to the person that, yeah, that is a restored section, but it doesn't look like from the outside. So there, there's a thin line of what you can do um, on, on that area.